I remember uh, riding in the car with my dad one day and him saying, you know, what do you want to do when you get older? And I said, uh, I want to play in the major leagues. I ended up choosing baseball over basketball. I remember the breaking point of that decision was we had our awards banquet my junior year of high school. And I would say that I prided myself of at least if I wasn't gonna be the high scorer, I really wanted the award of Mr. Hustle Award. Or at least thought, you know what, tonight's awards night. I was like, I think I should, I think I should probably get that. My coach gives it out to um, somebody who I was, everybody was pretty shocked that he got it. I left there um, in anger and uh, frustrated and I drove up to the high school and I pull in the parking lot and I'm facing the baseball field and I click my lights on and it's um, shining out on the baseball field. And in that moment of the pain and the different things I was feeling, I felt like the Lord came over me that moment and said, here's where I'm leading you. It actually kind of went there with, with the arrogance of thinking, I'll go to MTSU for a year, and basically go down there, be a stud, and then transfer. <laughs> I was quickly humbled, like, the first month down there, I remember calling home being like, I don't even know if I'm gonna make the travel team. But since it turned out being such a great school, great competition, it was exactly what I needed. You know, I was drafted as a junior from there. I get a phone call, from my manager, who says, what are you doing? I said, I actually just kind of got up from a nap. He said, you know, he made a joke and he said, uh, we'll pack your bags. I said, what do you mean? Where, where, where am I going? He said, you're going to the big leagues, my man. Uh, <laughs> something you've uh, put a lot of your passion in as, you, as a kid. To know even whatever was gonna happen after that, I was gonna get a chance to walk on a major league field. A few days before opening day, I get a phone call from the GM saying, hey, you're coming up. So now I'm actually back on the team. At that time as well, the right fielder was hurt during spring training. Well, he comes back from the DL. That bumps me, so I'm back in AAA again. Same thing, all right, I'm gonna go get it. All right, this is, this is enough's enough. I'm tired of this. God, what are you doing? I get to AAA and um, tore it up get a phone call again. Well, hey, you're coming up. So I come up thinking, okay, now they're gonna actually, get, I'm gonna get to play. Get my first start, the ball's hit over my head. And I'm amped up, it's my first start in a while. I'm out on the field again, exactly where I wanna be and the moment I wanna be in. And as I start to go back on the ball, I start to feel the warning track, but I didn't feel it soon enough. And I hit the warning track as hard as you could, like a full on car wreck. And my shoulder, my collarbone immediately pop up, sh separate my shoulder. My head hits the wall, ball goes over the fence, I'm trying to give my bearings where I am. Trainer comes out, looks at my shoulder. And that moment, uh, I mean, I was out. I don't know what's gonna happen. I know what I've experienced. I know what he's done through the wake of that and what he's continuing to do, but he's just constantly just quietly, sometimes ferociously, showing up saying, I don't know, we're not done yet. This isn't about you, Brett. As I've walked through the last four or five years of my career and the ups and downs of things, I'm really good with just saying, I don't really have a clue how it's gonna unfold. I can only control my attitude, my preparation, and whatever happens after that, God's stopping through it all.